If you're diving into the crypto first, stop by here and get some wisdom first because you're breaking, you're breaking an ancient curse. A fiat system placed exclusively since birth. Now it's time to reevaluate where you place your worth. I'm your brother Curtis Aru, the reflection of you, and I am a mindful guide into the cryptoverse. As cryptocurrency as we know it today, as it is continuing expanding and becoming a household topic, there's an order to everything. And specifically, as this rolls out, there's a specific way you want to navigate, and I'm here to aid you in that process. I'm here to introduce to others and confirm patterns and relationships and innovation on the blockchain. You can find me at onetribe.io slash 101 APP. I do 101 sessions, group sessions, and forms at desired locations. Check the website for the current events and everything else that is going to be birthed from this relationship. I'm your brother Curtis Aru. Oh, oh. All right, holding this family. All right, today we're talking about staking i'm your brother curtis rule the crypto griot and telling stories about how to make more money and or more options to make a current increase in your investments with cryptocurrency this is not financial advice it's only suggestions and education and a little bit of entertainment <laughs> and so today to you know most people think you, know, you can invest in crypto and you know it goes to the moon you know that coin goes from two cents to a hundred dollars you know that's the major game these things happen, but they don't happen, you know, all the time. The sprinkles throughout over the years, you know, when you get a coin for the low and it really, you know, takes off. And, but that's only one way to make current. Of course, you can slowly gain these things over years as the price increases. You can also have things like, like um, uh, staking. And that's what we're talking about today. What is staking? And staking is where we have something called proof of stake and proof of work. Where we talked about is also all those who went through the um, the one on ones, where we know that Bitcoin, two thousand nine, new technology on the blockchain is a is a mathematical equation. We call it an algorithm, where this algorithm is continuously um, answering. Whoever gets the right answer based on their computer power, or hash powers, um, they get a Bitcoin. They would get a bitcoin so the first person who the ha hash 2009 let's say you know it, might, it wasn't even 50 cents uh the computer solved the math problem as we know as you get higher in math you get you get these geometries and you get these uh, uh graphics and so like when you go from just adding you know two dimensional until you go to like trigonometry or geometry then you you start things start to expand so these computers the mining process, which is called mining for cryptocurrency or mining for Bitcoin specifically, that's what we're talking about, it begins to use something called graphic cards. And these graphic cards are, you know, help it get the answer faster because it's able to crunch all these numbers really, really fast. And that's called proof of work. Uh, so they call it POW, proof of work. So some coins are proof of work and other coins are proof of stake. And proof of work only awards the person who gets the right answer. You know, so that one person, whoever gets it, like all of, all of us, boom, Tracy gets the Bitcoin, the computer guy. And then, but proof of stake is a little bit different because it, it um, so just imagine all the work that is put in. Let's say all of our computers are working to get this proof of work, to answer this equation. So this is electricity that's being burnt. This is uh, time that's being spent. Um, and if you don't get it, well, you kind of just burned all of that for nothing, you know, and so, that's proof of work and it take, consumes a lot of energy that um, this is one of the reasons why China actually and um, some other companies to ban uh, crypto mining because it was pulling so much energy and they said it was increasing global warming and was throwing the um, balance off in the environment because so much energy was being used even though it was a, a it was a, a, a say high risk uh, low reward no well high, low risk high reward too because it depends on how you look at it because they're doing all this work and they get it Hey, they got a whole Bitcoin and it's continuously expanding. Um, but if they don't get it, you just burn up a lot of energy that could be, you know, that's pulling on the environment that they're pulling and their government is generating. And so we created a big carbon footprint. With proof of staking, whoever has the coins, let's say another coin may be, um, uh, it'd be Solano. Um, we'll show some of those in a bit. Um, they, whoever 
is staking, they are responsible for crunching that that data. Not them as they have to do it, but their computer. If you're holding that coin, that coin is responsible for doing it. So everybody's not doing it just because you bought that coin at that time that was generated. Your coin that was that is responsible for um, proofing uh, that. So they have proof of stake. That's P O S. So there's a difference between the two. And so when it comes to staking, there is a um, some coins have that opportunity that have that those type of algorithms. At some point, don't. Um, and some coins, when you stake them, they can have high rewards. And I'll show you a bit of those right here on this particular snapshot of uh, Binance. And that's right here. But they have different types of staking. And staking, I mean, you just so any one of these coins here, this coin is called EOS, um, Bake, Dodo, Tron. These are, I just know the names of these. Uh, this is Cosmos, so called Atom. And it goes on and on and on. And staking is you, you leave a portion of your, um, you buy these assets, you will buy one of these coins that they're offering, and then you will leave it with them. You leave it on their platform. And you can list from this one has a pretty, uh, what says lock staking, where you can lock the coin. I mean, you don't touch it, you don't take it out, you leave it there. You say, hey, I'm gonna leave it here for 120 days. And if you leave it, and they're saying they're offering you, their company here is offering you that on this platform. If you leave it here for 120 days, duration days, 120 days, we'll give you 9%, uh, 9% you know, that, of that, no, that whole time. Uh, if you hold it for this particular one, EOS, 90 days, it takes it to 7%. And have also have a minimum here, amount how much you can actually do, how much you can actually leave in there. And they'll tell you if this is sold out. So the 90 day positions for this coin is sold out. And you can see it right here on this side. Each exchange is different. This one is a snapshot from Binance. Where, uh, yeah, so the 60 days, sold out. 30 days, sold out. So only one is available for this particular coin is 120. So oftentimes, you well, here, I'll go through this first. So everybody has different, based on the company value, they have different uh, things that they're promising to give you. And they'll, they'll give you 20% uh, of whatever assets that you have in this particular coin. So if you had uh, 100 Dodos, and they say you give you 21% after 30 days, you will have 121 Dodos. Um, that's right. Yeah, hundred million dollars when um, after the thirty days, and that'd be you no know, increase where you can build that that current. So each one has a different percentage, and we say typically the longer you hold, let them let them hold it, the the greater the uh, the increase is where you just leave it in there. So this is three months here, and ninety days, ninety days. I think the highest one on here, and you don't necessarily have to go with the highest. This word is the highest. Um, 59%. So in 30 days, they give you 59%, almost 60%. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this one is 59%, almost 60% that they're giving you if you leave it in there for 30 days. It sounds really good. So once you find one that, you know, think that's is worth your investment, and all, again, all these are risk. All these are risks. It's up to you to do your homework on the coin. And remember, you know, um, in the crypto Bible that we have on, on the page, the download you know, uh, from Exodus of um, Beaumont, um, one of the first commandments or what's the first things to do when you are investing anyway, you kind of want to get out of the gambling space mentally. You want to lose the get rich quick mentality. This is the, the road that crypto is, has opened up for humanity. It's something that's going to be around for at least, you know, 150 years, if not more, you know. Um, so, because that's when the last Bitcoin is to be mined, you know, in about 150 years, something like that. And um, so this is something that's going to be around for a while. And as we see the collapse of, you know, monetary funds, centralized government, the dollar is getting weaker and weaker and weaker, which appears to be things are getting more expensive, more expensive, more expensive. But the dollar is getting weaker. People, are, you know, countries are sending it back by the truckload. And so when I say all that, to say, hey, we're getting into some things that you you want to hold on for a bit. And this is a bit, as in, you know, a year, you know, or more. You know, sometimes if you know, it, and when I say all this too, for it also good to know how to pull profit. And we'll talk about that next. So these are a number of points. Each every exchange 
has their own type of staking things. And every coin doesn't have every, uh, every, every, every exchange doesn't have every coin. So this is a no, we don't, not gonna go through the whole list. Uh, this one has 70%. And so from my, my perspective, if you wanna do research, let's go grab this one, this is called Cake. Cake is another, well, that's not, that's, let me tell you how to, find, how, to, how to look more into it. This is Cake. We can use what we all typically have as a, a bookmark, hopefully by now, is coinmarketcap.com. Uh, type in cake. Bam. Cake is pan, uh, pancake swap. It's uh, its own type of uh, exchange, but you will find more about it right here. So you would say, hey, pancake swap, let me learn more about this coin because you know you want to know about it before you invest in it. Does it have a future? How, how is it looking? How do people use it? Um, what's the circulating supply? That's right here. This is 2 million, right? Yep. 2 million. 2,777,277 uh, million uh, circulating right now and their total supply is here. So it's about uh, almost half of that is moving right now and max supply, they don't have a max supply. I mean, they kind of can keep generating more. Um, and this is part of the formula that you, wanna, uh, you can take an advantage of. So this may be not one you hold for three years, but this may be one that may have a, a bit of growth, depends on how uh, what people are using it for. So you wanna go here, it tells us where their website is, website here, it also can tell us um, where you can find them, Discord or Telegram. Uh, it also can, you know, there you go, uh, Reddit paper, Reddit, uh, Twitter, find out more information and other places you can use to find more information about their things. So here we go, Pancake Finance. One of, one of the things that pancakes are used for is uh, swapping, swapping different coins. Uh, moon, I mean, the moon is made of pancakes. Uh, so when people come here, they connect their, their wallets, like uh, when we have the uh, MetaMask wallet, like so you an example right here. So these are different type of wallets that it connects to. So it makes people's, uh, people who have these wallets, like a MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, uh, Binance, if we have any more, let's see. Yeah, all these, are uh, compatible with this particular coin or uh, platform where they can connect. They can connect and they can swap out different assets. Uh, they look like they even have some kind of lottery thing going on. Um, NFTs you can buy here, activities, earn, farm, pool, trade, swap, liquidity. It does a number of things uh, within the cryptoverse. It had to become popular. We'll look at the charts in just a bit. This is a 24 hour chart, no, it doesn't, okay, 24 hours. Let's see how it looked this year. So it's been moving up this last year. You know, so, uh, yeah, in the last year, so in the, the last 12 months, uh, well, less than 12 months, it's up 278%, it's wild. Uh, so what you would do was come here, you have an asset and you want to swap it out for another asset because again, every ass, every coin is not on every platform. And, and platforms like, like this typically have some of the newer coins um, that are built on other blockchains. And you would come and type it in here and see what you could find and you would swap out maybe a popular coin like Binance or uh, something that you already have and swap it out for another coin right here on this platform and you don't have to have uh, any ID, you don't have to have any type of proof of, um, what is it called, uh, KYC. You don't have to have a number of things and able to use this platform. So that's why one of the reasons it became so popular. And uh, and you can keep things in your own web-based wallet, those wallets that we showed earlier. So this is just one of the coins. I'm not saying, you know, go and grab some of this. I'm just saying that this, this is one of the ways you can start doing research on the coins that you may see opportunities to for staking specifically today. Uh, so that's pancake swap and the cake on there. And so for me, I would also, I don't know if you can see this, this chart here, let me make sure it's showing. For those who are more interested in charting, um, I would come here on my chart, don't be intimidated. Let me look at cake. What does cake look like on my chart? Just in a blank chart. Let's give it that same here for those who follow the bk method we see that it has been on a downward trend that thing been going down for quite some time Woo 
So is it ready to make some change? <laughs> okay, so it's been going down. I don't know what that other chart said, but this chart said <laughs> it's down 70, 74% in the last 201 days. You can see that number right there. In the last 201 days, in six hours and 51 minutes, it's been it's down 71%. So it's been going down most since, uh, what is this? September of last year, and actually before that, because they had a little hiccup. It's been going down for a bit. Yeesh. So, yeah. And that's most of the market. That's not just this coin. We're not going to harp on this one too much. But just showing that it has been going down for quite some time. Is it ready? It's, again, like I said earlier, this is a long-term um, technology, cryptocurrency. It's new. It's new to the world. So you got you know, everyone is just getting into it. And so will platforms like this make it, you know, in the next 10 years, five years, three years, a hundred years? We don't know. And again, it will be doing more research on, on each coin to see, you know, what can benefit you the most. And just like a lot of stocks, you, you can just hold them and see what it does. Right now, this one's currently at seven bucks. Um, looking like it's trying to come up what we call this gray area un above the water. And uh, that's enough charting, you know, <laughs> looking like it's trying to see the light of day right here, trying to get up there. It hasn't really done that since up, since up here. It came back down. This is definitely a more uh, flat space uh, and not to get too far into China. But if you have any questions about charting, we can definitely get into this. Um, and I can show you what this may look like with some other variables attached to it. And yeah. Okay, but yeah, this is cake. So I would look at the charts and I would look at coin market cap. And then I will also do some other research on their pages to see if they have what they call a roadmap. And uh, they'll tell you where they're going with their particular coin. It's just one way of doing some research on how to determine what coins I want to get into and how to do it. So again, one more time, go back to um, whatever platform that you're a part of. You can see what they're offering for other ways to increase your um, increase your value on the blockchain. Yeah, so this is staking. Um, they also have, again, this is just one stake and they also have flexible, I want to say, you know, show me on here. Yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Bam. And typically they have everything you need to know on the bottom pages as well. If you want to know more about staking, uh, what is lock staking? They drop it right there. See, they got a, a one sentence about it. Uh, lock staking is the process of holding coins in a cryptocurrency wallet to support the operation of blockchain network. Um, for more staking, please refer to the big um, the Binance Academy. This is also a good place to get some information uh, on that particular coin. There are flexible staking. Lock staking is you don't move it. Lock staking is you don't move it. It's locked up in that asset for that days that you set in there. So it'd be locked up for 120 days, 30 days, whatever it may be. And um, you rock with it like that. So flexible is then you can move, you can say 30 days, but if you need to move it for whatever reason, you can move it. And they have those op options somewhere on this platform as well. So any questions on staking on that particular topic before you go into other questions. Anybody got stake? Anybody staking anything right now? Okay, cool. But then it's a, one, a good option to um, other ways to make, make current debt. And cool. So staking is one of those assets to do. Um, also, if, if you find what, again, we talk about moving profits. Typically, when you feel like moving something, if it has no 15, 10% off, but the market's going up, it's like, oh, it's, it's going up, it's probably a good time to take some profits. If you see it's going up and going up and going up, it's going to take a little bit off top, you know, just a little bit and put it someplace else. You sell it back into something, a stable coin, or one of the best ways to put it into a stable coin is that I mean, it's not then susceptible to the market's up and downs and volatility. Uh, but um, um, 
but you also want to have, you want to store some coins in your own space too. So that's things like uh, uh, desktop wallets and things like uh, nano ledger wallets, treasure wallets. And this is things that you have off of the internet. This is something that looks like a little flash drive you plug in and you, you take it off. And then it's in your own space, in your own vault. And you really don't have to look at it anymore. Again, we're talking about long-term uh, good habits, best habits, better habits. Um, so we become better at um, navigating the crypto verse. And this is what this is what we are uh, this meeting about, you know, navigating the crypto verse, asking questions and how to make the best of my current as I begin to switch my change my value. I don't no longer value myself in in dollars. We say I work for you know eighty dollars an hour. Uh, I work for point such and such such and such satoshis or, or whatever um, current that you you rock with the most. And uh, cool. All right. So let me go ahead and open up questions. Anybody got any questions about anything in the crypto verse um, that, that maybe something you've been doing with and you've experienced or something you just want to learn more about? I am. Hey, yes, Sister Tracy. What up? Hi there. What's up? So I'm sorry, you alluded to this several times and you probably pointed it blatantly out, but I just want to check. So on that lock staking where it said the APY, like what you could earn or whatever, yeah. it's estimated. So could you possibly, you'd get nothing. It's not a guarantee in other words. Right. So that's yeah, a great question. That's a great <laughs> question. So it would give you, or, or that you know what the question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it, it gives you that, um, so again, like we see the volatility over different points is going up and down and up and down. So you can get more, let's say the, the cake. I think it was like, let's say it was $10 and they say it give you 50% right. of, of your assets and you, you put a thousand in it and it went up to $15. So now it's up 50% and they said it would be up, it's, um, they're going to give you, so let's say you had a hundred of the of the cake and they gave you 50% of it. So now you have 150. Right. So you have 150 of the coin, but the coin could go down. So that means you can have more of the coin, but the value of the coin goes down. Gotcha. So as, as you estimate, yeah, you they're, they're pretty much, guaranteed, they can guarantee you have that much more of the coin, but they can't really get estimate the how value. much the value. Yeah, because that's dependent upon the market at that time. Exactly. Exactly. So sometimes it can be you no, know, um, you no know, quite lucrative because you got right. the the more of the coin and the actual value of the coin went up as uh -huh. well. If right. You, it's a win win. It's like okay, I'm doing it again. You know, yeah. <laughs> it again. Yeah. So, and I've done that before, like a couple of years ago. Like it went up like twenty percent on top of my uh like thirty percent thinking I was like, oh, this is this is yeah. awesome. And yeah. then I was like, I'm gonna do it again. I'm put it all back in. <laughs> and then the market said. Pew. I was like, no, 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 no. I fucked up again. No. Read it with it. <laughs> exactly. So it's lessons learned. So you definitely want to pull, move it. You, you got, you got to win in the crypto burst. Yeah. The win, and then move it elsewhere. You can either keep those coins if you believe in that asset, um, or you can um, move it into something else that you believe in. Like for example, we got Secret Energy about to drop our own coin. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. Wholeness, thank you. That answers my question and then some. Appreciate you. Uh, yes, much love. Anybody else got a question on the blockchain or cryptocurrencies at all? We do see some coins are beginning to turn around, which is which is cool. But again, we don't know if the whole market is going to turn around and start to go back up again. But about it. And um, and so again, we plan for the long, we plan for the long haul. All right, I get my brother Ned Rue. What's up, my brother Supreme? What's going on, brother? What's going on? Can you hear me? Yes, brother, clearly. Sure. Uh, like she said, I'm sure you probably already went over it, but um, can you uh, elaborate more on the difference between block uh, staking and regular staking? Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, we were talking about earlier the, um, POS and POW, proof of work versus proof of staking. And that is basically the difference of the, the currency um, and how do it made, made. Some coins, some of the older coins, it's, uh, it's, it can be more energy costing for them to actually uh, produce it in that way. Uh, let me see if there's another analogy I can think of. 
uh, that is great for how it's built. Let's say cars. Like we got some cars that run on diesel, and you got some cars that run on electric. One car is good for um, the environment. One was a little bit better for the environment. Uh, and so let's say proof of work is that diesel one, where it's kind of like a more capitalistic uh, type of approach, where uh, just again, it's like oil and petroleum. It's 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 a uh, it's kind of kind of it takes more work, you know, from the earth and who has to producing it. And so what happens is proof of work with the algorithm, whoever gets the right answer gets the coin. And so proof of work is like Bitcoin. It's one, whoever computer is fast enough, strong enough to answer the question, which the, the, um, the Bitcoin algorithm presents it, they get a Bitcoin, Bing! which is awesome. You, that Bitcoin is worth $42,000 right now. But Everybody else who did all that work, let's say if you were actually in class, you probably wouldn't appreciate that. If all of us you know we put in two hours to get this, this assignment, it's something I had a roommate who was like, who uh, was an engineer, so he had like technicalis. And um, so he was like, you know, do this whole problem two pages. He was like, yeah, it took, we got five questions on the test, but it's taking us two hours to have to do it. I'm like, what? It's crazy. And so if he don't get the answer right, it's no reward. And so that's proof of work. But if you, um, in proof of staking, you get your answer right, you get, um, you get uh, your, your staking, you, you help the, the blockchain out, and it's uh, confirming that this transaction went through. And, um, and everybody gets a, a type of reward from, for that type of uh, staking. And so it's, it's those different types of, um, different types of staking. So you, and you might also be referring to the different types of staking as in lock staking, flexible staking, um, DeFi staking, they all have their different rules. So flexible staking um, would be, you can move it anytime you want. You might say, hey, I want to try it for 30 days, but let's say you've seen the market going down. It was like, oh no, I want to pull out. You can pull out. And you can break that um, type of like deal you have with them to gain the, those funds. But if it's something like lock staking, you have to leave it in there. No matter what happens to the market, it's there. You can't touch it. It's locked up. Um, yeah. And you have other Things like uh, DeFi staking, all of them have their own rules. So it depends on what platform you're on or exchange you're on or what coin that you're using. They have their own set of rules that you can read through. It's typically not a, a long read, but it is worth the read so you can have more insight on it. For sure, for sure. I appreciate you, brother. I get on that. Uh, last question, uh, pretty yes, much yes or no. Staking is through the personal coins business not like a broker like coinbase binance or whatever right all right right that's a good question that's a good question i'm glad you brought that up uh there is a lot of um so two things uh they say if not if not your private key not your coin um and also if like things like robin hood i'm not a big fan of robin hood because then you kind of lease and you rent out the assets there. You don't own any assets. You can't like move it off a of road driving hood. Like I'm going to take my bag and I'm going, you know, I'm leaving. Can't do that. You have to sell it back to them. So coins, that's how you know um, a lot of big companies like that. They have, uh, they have a huge, that's why we know Bitcoin is going to never hit zero. It's never going to drop, you know, past a certain amount because certain businesses have based their business on actually holding Bitcoin. Like they won't sell. Then the, the theory of a lot of these coins, they, they cannot sell as part of the business. Because if they don't have Bitcoin, why the hell are we even coming to your, your platform? I can't buy Bitcoin on this joint. I'm out of here. And so they rent Bitcoin. So that's what we know. And, and every major co country has an exchange, multiple exchanges, where they have to hold Bitcoin as part of the business. So that's all we know. Also, it will be around for quite some time. As long as Coinbase is going to be around, as long as these companies just got started, um, these huge companies, Bitcoin will always be around, you know. Um, if, if everything shut down, it's it's it won't happen. It's too many at stake for it, and so um, you you best that Coinbase not going to be um what is it uh Robinhood yeah, just one of one of the many who you they rent out you know these things to you, you don't have it for themselves for yourself. You can get get the profits of it. You can rent it and you can get the you can move your profits, but you can't move the actual asset. So you want to get to an exchange where you can actually move the assets. So let's say you want something like um, uh, 
so many exchanges, you can pancake swap, uh, Binance, uh, KuCoin, uh, a number of different places where you KuCoin. can buy it and then send it to your personal wallet. You can just send it to your personal wallet and you can leave that there and you have control of it. And, um, but elsewhere, you don't. So, uh, back around your question, you were saying with, uh, you asked the question, was that I lost? <laughs> so I'm going. Oh, no, you answered it perfectly, brother. I was just trying to figure out the difference between uh, staking and uh, was it lock staking and uh, the last you know, flexible like you talked about and then um, what proper uh, broker to use. So so I can use Binance for staking. I don't have to go to like Pancake website, like Pancake.com. Yeah. I think that I can go to Binance and do the staking. That's cool. Exactly. Brother. That's one place you can do the staking. So, yeah, you don't really have. There are brokers who, you know, get in between you and your assets, but you don't necessarily need them when it comes to cryptocurrency. Stocks, you know, they kind of make that look kind of gated space where your average person can't get up in there and, you know, make it do what it do. You have to have somebody who's, you know, uh, is uh, somebody in between. I don't know how well studied they are. We have to go to get a certain degree, MBA and anything like that, but you, you don't have, you don't need that. Now you're free to make your own mistakes. Right. Likewise. Likewise. So, you know, <laughs> these lessons are just part of the tuition as we're you know, getting into this, uh, into the cryptoverse. Uh, but yeah, you don't have, you can go straight into it and get, and get your own assets. They're different. They have a Binance uh, international joint and they also have a Binance US um, accounts and they have other um, exchanges. Also, you can also sign up for that doesn't, no, go too hard on the KYC stuff. Cool. cool. KYC cool. stands for know your customer. Getting the information. Know your cut. That like the difference between Binance uh, US and then the international. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So Binance, as as we know, with the in in the US, you no, know, pretty much if you hadn't correct your status uh, on your social uh, birth certificate, and you are yeah. still pretty much a ward of the state, so that you belong to the state. So any uh, so when the wards or the, you know they, these abandoned the, the our, these children the regular citizens began to start making all these profits you know overseas or with these without you know they they want to make their cut what you mean I'm I'm the owner of uh you know straw man you know six six two whatever 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 I should make some I should make some booty too I should make the bounty these these robbers here these, these pirates <laughs> um, yeah so they they made so they forced uh, Binance hand to create their own type of uh, uh, Binance US specifically, and then the Binance National. And you know, pretty much all, any, any company that comes into America, they have that type of, uh, they're met with that type of firewall when operating with US customers, you know, US citizens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. What's up, brother? Much love, I hope. Thanks for the uh, share. I I'm down there with that. Yes. All right, so uh, if you have no question, you got a question, Michael? Yeah, I do. Bonus. Bonus, brother. Uh, so, so I, I have some crypto on Trust Wallet. Uh -huh. And just today, I went to log into my Trust Wallet on my phone. I forgot my password. I have the backup keys. So I deleted it off my phone. And then... You know, it wasn't available on uh, iPhone's App Store because iPhone or Apple, they deleted Trust Wallet yesterday. Mm. So I, I don't know what the deal is with it. Um, luckily, on my iPad, I had I had the app already downloaded, but I didn't uh, have like a password set or anything. So I backed it up on there. But I was going to ask you if you know of another app similar to Trust Wallet that holds a lot of different cryptos, mm -hmm. something to use. Nice, okay, good question. But you said you were able to back up your funds with um, that you had on Trust Wallet? Yeah, I still have access on my iPad. Nice, okay, that's awesome. That's perfect. How about, you about to give another horror story, man. No, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did get that notification, notification saying that no, they were shutting down or deleting accounts if you hadn't done your, your KYC stuff. You haven't given your ID and things of that nature. And um, I did get, get that notification, but like you did, you were able to move your things over. So yeah, there's a number of different wallets that can be used. It was a website, it's not up anymore. Um, so you have to find another one. But um, 
one I used way back was Exodus Wallet. It's a desktop wallet. Again, so I go better, uh, better, good, you no know, best, better, you no know, least, you know, in that that way. So the best way to um, to move it is something like a uh, Ledger. Ledger is pretty good to hold your funds. Ledger. Now I got a link. I got a I got a uh, affiliate link too. Uh, if you want, you want to do. I do have a Ledger. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a great place to place it. That's the best place to place it. If you want to hold it, you know, if, you ain't, if you ain't trying to move it you know, up, in and out, all around, and trade it, uh, Ledger is the best place to have it. And Ledger is what we call, what is known as a hard wallet. Hard wallet. Uh, look like one of those two if, you, if you're new to the space. So this is one of the better ones to have outside of a paper wallet. It's definitely more sleek than a paper wallet. and easy, I would say easier to keep up with, easier to travel with. Um, and they code, they have different memory or different storage um, based on which one you get. And there are number ones, different ones like this, but this is just one of them. Uh, yeah, but this is the best place to hold it. But um, desktop wallets, uh, you can have things like Exodus, Exodus. This is one of my ones, I believe. You can download it on your computer. But again, these things are as safe as your computer is. Like, you know, if you go on to some, some sketchy sites, you probably don't want to have your crypto wallet on these on, on your desktop. Um, so you make sure it's it's safe. And you know, if it's you know, if your 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 spouse, kids, friends, homies, sisters, you know, use your uh <laughs> your uh your laptop or your desktop quite a bit, you probably don't want to hold it on there much you want to have complete knowledge of what's going on here. So this is a quick little video. Let's see what this looks like. Let me see if you can hear it first of all. Hello and welcome to the new Exodus application platform. Exodus is simplifying how we interact with crypto applications so that we can all reap the rewards of decentralized finance and crypto apps without having to be blockchain geeks. No more having to download separate apps. No more visiting websites that require multiple steps just to send crypto from point A to point B. No more long user manuals or boring video tutorials. If you're still using the old Exodus layout, hop on over to settings. You'll notice a new tab labeled apps. Get in there and flip the toggle on to unlock a new world of crypto applications. Otherwise, just click the plus sign up top to quickly add new apps. Now, there aren't many apps yet, but this is just the beginning. New apps are already being tested and redesigned to build upon the Exodus experience. Let's install these apps and take a quick peek. I'm going to click the Exodus logo in the top left hand corner, which acts as a home button. Cool. All right, yeah, we ain't got to go through all that. Uh, we got a new visitor decided to come and visit us. Hey, um, hello. What's that? going to be shy. Hi. Cool, cool. So he's going to get his little thing. All right. Oh, so, thanks, brother. <laughs> no doubt. No, so that's one of them. There are a number of Max. Uh, I'll put a link in some other ones in the in the chat when we get out of here. I think I got a list of them someplace. Uh, actually, they're in the Crypto Bible. That's the best place to grab. So I'll drop that in the chat. And um, yeah, so Exodus is one of them. There are a number of them. Coin, yeah, there's a number of them. They'll be in the, in the chat. And um, yeah, so you can have it there. They, it, you can even have an exchange in some of them where you can go back and forth in between different coins if you want to move them like that. Um, or if you see the coin, the market is going in the direction you think it's going to be there for a minute, you might want to swap it out. If not, just let it sit in there. Um, I do remember they had a breach about three, probably four years ago. I um, remember I had stuff in there. None of my stuff was taken, but it was like some of the information was weak. So they got the email. <laughs> I go to your mommy. <laughs> I thought you said the man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Go give mommy a hug. Tell your mother I'm stressing her out. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you made a great escape from his mommy. <laughs> but yeah, so um, 
yeah, there's a number of ways you can you can use it. Uh, that particular one, there's a number of. I did use that one, but I, I slowed down as much stuff I held into it just because that breach. Um, all they really got was my with email address, which is you know it can be you know dangerous if you don't got a secure email address. Whole time mail, shout out. Um, yeah, so that was that was that one. So that's one one of the ones. But I'll drop that um, crypto bible in there again, and they'll show you. Um, let me see if I, if I can grab it really quick. For you. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, maybe I do, maybe I don't, maybe I do, maybe. No, I think it's on another uh another cloud thing that I have on here, medium rendition crypto portfolio. Nah, if I can get it up in a second, I will. Uh, any other questions right now while I look for that right there? Any other questions? Cool, cool, cool. All right, so with the, with, oh, so, Secret Energy. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the video uh, on understanding. I'll drop the link down below here um, where you can see 719 and talking about you know, what is going to be offered with the platform and how the community we've built or the culture we've built is so, what's the word? It's so valuable, you know, to have people you can connect to in, in a vein of trust. And we're all, um, have a certain level of awareness, you know, and that these things are um, our, of our reality, spirituality, uh, just about people in general, the world history, galactic history, you know, there's so, so much stuff, our her story, you know, connecting to nature. It's such a, it's a community. And yeah, community, like it's um, stated, it, it, it builds over time. It's not something you can kind of you know, flip on. It's not something you can like click and like, and you know, now I'm a part of it, I join the group on, 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 uh, on telegram or facebook or something like that this is a real community we link up frequently we talk frequently we uh we we see we welcome each other our family you know it's each other you know it's, it's it's warm here and so with that we've built we're continuing to grow in value and placing our value in each other and so with the cryptocurrency that is launching it still has that that element of uh, bringing our value in, in the exchange in that amongst each other. So this is one of the first time in thousands, like I said, yes, thousands of years where we had a technology that enabled us to go back to a peer-to-peer -peer type of uh, trade before you had to go to a bank. You had to go to the Lords and you had to go to these places to be able to exchange or, or even like set by what a king said, that like, it's worth this much in gold, or the president said, or the governor said, or the, the feudal lord said, like this, we said that this has this value. And now we're coming to a space where we're about to launch our own cryptocurrency. And we already have some of it. Most of you, if you've been shopping in cryptocurrency, you probably have some owns or some jewels already just from each purchase that you already have. So you already have some of the value that we begin to exchange with each other because what? You've been shopping mindfully. You've been buying products that invest directly into you. You know, you've been buying courses. You've been buying supplements. You've been buying uh, water machines. Like you've been, you know, you've been really, you know, diving into yourself and you should be rewarded, you know? And so this type of um, reward or gamified system is now about to be launched you know, globally. And then we can share this with anybody else that um, yes, that wants to engage in this type of ecosystem. Um, there'll be NFTs, you know, I'll have some, some courses on there. Uh, you are gonna have some things or art or whatever you um, produce in our ecosystem. And then we can exchange funds of that based on what we value. And um, this is about to be huge. You know, this is you know, next level. You know, what, what, what begins, um, what we birth from this will be something that would change the trajectory, you know, of the youth, children, families, nations behind us. It's huge. So we definitely want to check it out. And if you want to whitelist, what we say, oh, yeah, giving thanks. If you want to whitelist, what they call it, where you um, you can be the first to get the coin, 
uh, before it comes out. This is something that when crypto first came out, we call it ICOs. Now, when it's your coin offering, they come out and you know you you get them for ground zero price. So before it goes public, you you got it for I don't know less than a penny. So you got it for you no know, ten cents, and then it goes public, and then you no know, people else, the public get there can then start to buy in. But again, it's like a pool. You know, more people in the pool, the price value continues to go up. So being that you in it at that the get go. It's going to expand from there because most people uh, are going to be into our ecosystem. We haven't decided, they haven't decided if it's going to like a proof of stake or proof of work uh, just yet, or what blockchain we're going to use, or we not create our own blockchain. But it's in the works. It's in the making, as we know how you know Savan works. You know, once he gets it, you know he he runs with it. You know, <laughs> he runs with it <laughs> and, until it's you know at nausea. You know, he'll do his full best at you no know, getting this thing done. And one of the ways that we can value or show that we appreciate that type of work is pour into it. You know, you got some extra change you want to throw into a blockchain, our blockchain, our business um, collectively as our culture, drop it in there and just let it be. You know, it's going to be one of the best investments you've made because you've been continuously making these amazing investments for yourself. My brother, uh, uh, my brother, uh, Michael Lowe is in Costa Rica. You know, I used to all think, thank you still over there, right? Man, and just enjoying the space, man. You're, you're activating different parts of yourself and you're making these moves for yourself. And so why not continue to move in the direction of truth, which is going, you're going inside. So uh, I got my sister, Odin Lade. I love saying her name, to kiss. Uh, got a question. What's up, sister? Uh, wholeness, everyone. Um, I tried to um, sign up for the whitelist, and mm -hmm. I'm not really like um, too savvy when it comes to like the the crypto and stuff like that. But when I tried to sign up, it was only accepting Ethereum as. Um, as I guess, like, uh, in order for you to invest in it, you have, they were, it was only accepting or Ethereum. It wasn't accepting cash or even Bitcoin or anything like that. So how do, so how does that work okay. when you try to, okay. when you're signing up for the whitelist? Right. I got you. That's a great question. So I get the opportunity of walking through it on this video. So give it thanks for that question. Uh, so with the right now, we're uh, measuring value in Ethereum right now. Will that be the medium that we take? Possibly, um, but possibly not. It may change, but all the information will be um, given in the more information will be given in the Telegram group. I'll show you how to get to that. So we're going to go to the YouTube page. All right, Sean. Uh, green, green, green. Come on. So this is the video here. Uh, where brothers breaking it down. Ask me anything. Ask me anything. I was close to that AMA. <laughs> but you ask me anything, and you can you have that here, and he goes through that, that brilliant presentation about the roadmap and where we're going. To whitelist, yeah. Right under the video, you can click that link there, and mm -hmm. it goes through a series of questions as you already experienced, and it asks you for your name and some basic information. And your uh, how much in value would you like to put in there? Let's say, let's <laughs> <laughs> name bang, go to the next, uh, on to the next, bang, bang, go put your email there, bam, bam, uh, and say this question here how much will you plan on? Right, right. And so this is how you want to estimate. So you look at the value of ETH. Because it's popular, it's an easy one to look up. So you can go through, uh, you can get an eight, uh, ETH converter. Converter. Look for. Got a number of them online. They don't have one right here on the box. Is, is, does, um, does everybody know like that what you're telling us now? Because like I, I received the the 
the link to the crypt to the whitelist in my email. So like, does mm-hmm. everybody know like that's how it's, or, or does he explain all of this in that presentation? Uh, I don't, I don't remember seeing this in the presentation, but mm-hmm. um, no, you're right. You're right. No, I don't think everybody knows. <laughs> Cause uh, I was but, uh, thinking like, this is like, you know, when I sign up for the whitelist, I, I have to have this amount of Ethereum in order to do it. So that's, that's kind of where, I, and you know, but I'll, I'll do a video specifically for that then. Okay. I got to do one for that. So right here, you, you want, you do want to have it. You can are going to ask you for your Ethereum address and I'll show you how to grab one of those easily, easily tonight. Uh, so right here, you want to say, Hey, I want, I got you no know, two G's I can put in, you know, to sit in it. Bam. Okay. I got two G's, so that's about actually that's two thousand Ethereum. Nope, not that much right now. Not right now. Uh, so two thousand, put it in USD, and it converts to this much uh, Ethereum. So mm-hmm. you would say, okay, that's uh, an option that it gave here was zero to eight. one. Zero to so one. So like, Man, I'll, click, I'll click that one. So I have that much. And with the calculation, and they say, "What is your Ethereum? Um, what is your address that you want to? That what address will you be coming right. from?" So, if you have a coin, any if you have a cryptocurrency anywhere, that's the Exodus wallet, the Trust wallet, uh, any exchange wallet, um, MetaMask wallet, you have a a wallet address. It'll be your deposit wallet address, and you get that deposit wallet address, and you um, you put that here. So you okay. can go to let's say is this right? Not that. Uh, you can go to. Let me see my. What's the best one? Cause I don't have no, I don't have any wallet. So, what's the best, 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 best wallet? <laughs> best, 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 best wallet. Uh, it, really, it depends on what you're using it for. But for oh. the best one of the best wallets are you know, so the, the ledger wallets that you want to move from, but you have to get funds into that wallet first to move it from there. And mm-hmm. so again, you can grab one of the ledger. That's one of my favorite ones, smart wallets. That was that site I pulled up earlier. And you can get one or two. Sometimes they have discounts on them. Um, but it's a great one to have. This would be your vault as you're becoming the bank. You know, keep being responsible of managing your own funds. You'll see um, these other ones you'll have, and they, they'll have an app that goes with it, and they also have desktop apps that goes with it too. And you can pull one of those um, your deposit address from there. Uh, if you have uh, one of the easy, one of my favorites is Crypto.com. It's easy, so it has a uh, very user friendly. I have, I think I have that app, but I don't have, okay. I haven't used it, but I have it some, this is all like Chinese. I mean, not, <laughs> this is like another language to me. So it's I, I'm just lost. I think I'm going to take, um, when I'm ready, I'm going to take your one-on-one and yes. so that you could walk me through setting all of this stuff up, but, um, I'm, I'm listening. Definitely. Okay. And the next one will be like a meta match. I don't know if you can see this meta. meta can you see this right here? With the fox. I don't, I don't, I don't know. You got him. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I have it. But it says yeah, zero I ETH. It. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the places. This is the MetaMask wallet. This is one of them here where you can, um, it comes with a Ethereum wallet. So you can just copy that right there and you can set this up in a matter of, matter of minutes. And uh-huh. uh, I, I do that too. You would take that, copy that right there. It already set up right here for this particular account. And you can take it back here and you can paste it right there. And uh-huh. you would submit that right there. I already did one, so I'm not going to submit this one here. And um, once that is done, you would then be sent a link or given a link to join. Can I get out of here without finishing? So as soon as you got to that, you can then be placed into the, you'll be sent into this, uh, into the Discord chat. And this is the SC um, community chat that um, for the whitelist. So everybody in the whitelist is going to pop in here and there'll be uh, all the information that comes out, newsletters, um, dates, um, deposit dates, links, all that stuff will be dropped here, plus infos, and I'll probably 
see if I can get a little tutorial in there as well. And uh, so people can see how to make that, you know, make that, uh, make that exchange. You could probably just um, clip it from this video right here. I probably can. Exactly. Exactly. So thank you. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for the thank question. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to um, I, I, I'll I'll be doing that uh pretty soon because I want to I want to get in on that. What's um, how long how long will okay? So the white list thing is like you know us joining at the white list stage. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're getting to be like we're we're getting it before it comes out and then once it comes out yes like how long is it going to take for it to come out uh it's supposed to come out this year um so um, it's probably I, I won't put a date to it but i know we we're talking about getting out pretty soon probably by the third quarter of this year at the latest but the, the, all the information for sure will be in the telegram chat or we're going to talk about it in our next try buys okay and then the so the telegram group I can get in now, and then th when I sign up for the white list, I can, mm -hmm. um, I'll be in the Discord group. Yeah, well, that, that's the Telegram group you're going to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you thank you. Can get that done. Yes, yes, yes. Much love. Yeah. So, again, this, yeah, it, it wasn't, we were earlier, it wasn't, uh, it, it would seem that a lot of the earlier stages for getting the cryptos were gone. You know, because it wasn't many companies really coming out with this. And now again, we're actually coming up with it within our culture, within our community. But this is brutal um, to get into it. Uh, sister Abayomi, my sister, what's up? Peace and greetings. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm kind of with the goddess on... Um, on crypto. Um, I know we've had our one-on-one, -on -one, but yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of like, okay, what? Um, but I, I can say that um, I did go ahead and set up a MetaMask wallet. So mm -hmm. that's, and that, that's only because that's the only one I really know about it, 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 because to me, it's like the most popular. And because I'm trying to learn about all this stuff at the same time, like this crypto, this NFTs, this all this stuff that I I'm kind of like all over the place with, mm -hmm. and so I feel like I'm trying to I'm playing catch up. So it, it's kind of hard to grasp it all and keep it. Right. But I did um click that link that you put in Telegram, and I did set up. I I, I went through that process that you just showed. So mm -hmm. um yeah so what what happens after that so we just we just um put in that we have a metamask wallet and um then what we we get notified or how does it work yeah. out yeah you'd be notified via email that you use submit it about what the next steps will be so that will be uh probably the email probably says them like hey the time is now we're now accepting the um the contributions uh, to begin to divvy out the the owns or what the name of the cryptocurrency is going to be, and then they will give you or share with you the deposit address where you would send the current to, um, or the platform that you would begin to buy it at. And it could be done through crypto, or it could be done through other means. But it most likely, probably be done in crypto is to keep it uh, within the crypto verse. So you want to start to think about how much you want to put in, and start putting that slowly. Uh, or, you know, whenever time into crypto. So get it into the MetaMask, getting it into um, preferably USDT. If it's already in US dollars now, you want to go ahead and move it into US Tether or um, a stable coin like DAI, it's D-A-I, uh, or USDC. They have a number of them. As long as it's a stable coin, it's not moving up and down. That way you can just hold it there, get it from, you know, from your pockets or your bank and just sit it where you want it to be. So when it's that time, you can just move it in there, no worries, and just let it be. And um, so that'll be the easiest way, what to do now and waiting for the email to come through with the, the final white paper and where to start to make those uh, that currency exchange at. Okay, and, and then um, the other question that I have, um, I think she also touched on it too with our wallets um like i said i just got the metamask wallet because 
Okay, that's the one I know about. Um, I haven't gotten a ledger yet, but are there other digital wallets that you would recommend outside of MetaMask until we're able to get ledgers? Yes, yes, there are. There's a number of um. Let me see if I can pull that uh that link up here. Or is that is that in the crypto Bible? Wallets. Yeah, let me see if I can pull them up. Bad. Okay. Right. So this is part of the Crypto Bible here. I'll drop this link into the chat. And at the bottom of this video, where you have different things like this is called a paper wallet. This is probably this is the most secure wallet where you print out this paper and then your address is here and your codes are here and your private keys are here. But this, for me, it just is hard to keep up with. I'm not the best at keeping paper. <laughs> so, you know, I, uh, again, so this is virtually unhackable. See that advantages and disadvantages. So you can, um, virtually unhackable since it's never connected to an online service source, um, never, you know, part of any third party joints and it's the cheapest method to go. Because you can just print it out. You don't have to buy a um, buy a, one of those joints. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to buy one of the um, the ledger hard wallet. The disadvantages: it will take longer to move your currency around. So if you wanted to, to move it from one place to another, it would take a couple more steps from moving it from this asset. You have to. It's a couple more steps. We won't go over that right now, but there's a lot more steps to be done. And uh, that's, you know, you can follow things like this and it will take you to the next place, next step. But we can go over that and maybe a one-on-one -on -one if you just chose to got, get <laughs> a, a paper wallet. Uh, hard wallets, these are some of the ones here. They are Nano Ledger, Nano Blue, Treasure. There's just a few um, hard wallets, what we call, where you can take each one of these and uh, place your funds there. They have, have a digital interface, small or big, where you can see what coins you have in it or even add new coins um, that are adaptable, that are adaptable to this joint here. So Treasure is another one, uh, and each one of these links take you to that particular um, website. So I'll drop that in there. Uh, and they're web wallets. So it depends on what you want to do and how you want to hold them, how you want to use them. Um, these are different types of wallets. I do I say yes. And so right, Sean, bam, these are web wallets. Uh, there are a number of them. Uh, mobile wallets, like Brother uh, Michael Lowe said, Trust Wallet is one of them. Bread Wallet is another one. Um, there are number, as, just as many as you find shoes, you can find wallets, but you definitely want to do your research on them before you get them. Uh, these are desktop wallets. You can download. This is the one I mentioned earlier, Exodus. Um, this one is Jax, I believe. Uh, Konami. There's another one, they're, they're number one, but I'll send you these links and you can check them out for yourself and then you can start discovering your own. But yes, there's a number of wallets that you can partake into as your bank. This is the one I mentioned with crypto.com. They do have their own digital assets too. This is the easiest to use, but it is uh, one of your public interfaces. I typically talk to about, talk about you know, the public versus the private and your public one where you have to give your, your address and a number of other personal information, but they, they do make it easier for you to spend and exchange your crypto. They have cards that you can choose, and they also have their own coin, which also uh, you have to stake the coin to get different calibers of cards. So different cards give different perks, and based on how much you stake into their company, how much CRO, which is their coin, um, you have, they'll have that uh, available for you. Yeah, so um, this is crypto.com. But yeah, there are a number of different wallets that you can use. And again, depends on what you want to do. If you want to just get it and hold it, get you a ledger wallet uh, or a paper wallet. Um, if you want to exchange it a bit, you want to move some assets from here to there, you know, get you maybe an exchange wallet or, or a web wallet like MetaMask uh, and all the ones that we kind of saw a little bit earlier, um, making an exchange about uh, with PancakeSwap. They so was a they're different um wallet through the web wallet you can use. Um, but again, so you want to, you, you're becoming more versed at this thing, you know, this, this Mandarin Chinese 
uh, I got a, a, a Khan, Swahili, uh, Bantu languages, <laughs> all of them in there, right? Um, to, um, to begin to start making sense of all this, you know, stuff. This is only the first of its kind. So they don't feel, don't feel bad at all. Zero bad feelings about you know, not really getting this stuff because for all of our lives, we've known money to be paper. You know, they just change, they jingle in your pocket. Now you, you know, you got a jingle ringtone when it hits your pocket, like when it hits your etheric wallet. You know, it's this cold. So we're changing our whole mindset. Our grandma, daddy, great great grandma, they never even thought of this technology would even hit the hit the reality. So give yourself a bit of grace room, give yourself a year, some change, you know, begin to start really knowing what you're doing and feeling confident. I remember at one point when I would send a transaction, I'd be like, you know, like every trans, it might be like 30 minutes, like, oh man, did it go through? Did I make a mistake? What happened? And then I was like, oh man, who do I? And I'm like, man, this, but every time it would go through. And uh, so I began getting more and more confident about making those transactions because I know the technology is sound and that, um, and again, it's kind of trusted. You don't really have to trust it. You just have to trust with where you place your funds and and um, see if that coin is going to do well on the market or the market as a whole going to do well. You know. But yeah, that's the point of the question. And um, what about that chart, that charting software that you use? I mean, can you tell us what it what it is or like, yeah, that the the thing that looks really crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do, can we? Is that something that we can download and play with ourselves, or do we have to have school for it? Because it looks like we have to have school for it. Nice. You can um you can download this. I I, I just found out you get a download for this. I don't know. If they just made it, but I just made it. I just downloaded it this year. Um, but it's called Trading View. I I've been using the web version for quite some time and. Mm -hmm. See, but yeah, it's all tradingview.com. You have free accounts on it. Free accounts where you can, it's very interactive here. You can you know, make it bigger, smaller, you know, create little, little things on here, use little tools. Hey, I want to put a, you know, write my name on here. Woohoo! So this is my chart, you know, cut, cut H. You know, you can do anything uh, with a chart measuring. Um, but you can um, really get interactive with the, different ways of charting and they have a number of different tools for those who are interested in it and those not just uh, one of my the person i've learned trading from 101s with was brandon kelly um called, known as the boss of crypto uh, real big for years i'll follow him learning how to chart so he has a basic template that he set up um which is available for free in here and just quickly if you go into uh, trade view. I like I might need to do a setup video, but he knew he had one. He has one somewhere on, on YouTube on his page on his playlists. But you would come here and one of the first things I did was exit all of the stuff I knew nothing about. <laughs> there was a lot of different pop-ups. Um, yeah, there was a lot of different pop-ups. There were uh things that there was it was everywhere. I didn't I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what the value meant. I didn't know what uh, alerts mean. I didn't know what buy signals were. I didn't know what none of this stuff was. So I took all of that stuff away and I made this thing, uh, this thing, it was like bright, which you'll probably see if you download it. And I was like, whoa, that's too much for my eyes. I'm gonna make this darker. <laughs> and so with here, just from this minimum, you're gonna go to indicators and you can go to for free for, and you can just type in ultimate BK uh ma that's moving average and we can go over a lot more of this in, in one-on-ones i've been you know, learning how to do this thing for a minute i'm i'm fairly decent at it you know and so um right here we have uh again ultimate bk method you will use that and it will give you this setup right here what i'm looking at right now and minus you know maybe the colors or how the, the texture may look and from here simple without going any further if the white is above the blue it's typically a good uh, indicator of probability for a higher um, profit so for the coin to go up like we see we'll give you a little taste right here right here it went up right here by the blue went up right there by the blue 
It came up right here, Mother Blue. It came up back here, Mother Blue. Uh, it also did it. It did it just just a couple of days ago, right there above the blue. And typically, every time it did that, you will see, you know, a type profits when it went down again. Uh, profits from here to here to top, and it's hard to catch that at the top. But um, these are other other means of uh, uh, methods of learning how to take profits and when to take profits that we go in our one on ones. And so, bam, the bam, that. 16% and bam, right, chan. That went up over 75%. Time is there. We said the last time we did it. But typically, every time it goes up, it, go, it goes up a bit. You know, it, no matter how long, maybe a day, two, three, four, um, but it's typically more probability that it's going to go up more. So we see that it just actually crossed. This is cake. It just actually crossed it again right here. Right, she and that's thirteen percent up in the last six days. Will it continue to go up more? I couldn't tell you right now. It's all up to the market, but it's probability probability states that it'll probably will go up more. But right here, we see that it's as, as we see it hit up here in that little zone right there. Not to make it a technical class, um, this gray area here typically acts as a type of uh, resistance. And we'll see that it begins to it hit it, let's say, bump its head on the ceiling and comes back down. So it's been time trying to break through this little gray zone right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right here, trying to come through. And it's trying it again right here. Will it make it through? I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you the probability looks good. And so um, I'll leave it at that and allow you to watch. So if you go to Trade, trading view, you can actually check out. Someone give me off of that. You can check out this for yourself and try your hand. With all we, all this is just probability. This is a new. Uh, uh, if it's new to you, it, it there is a learning curve. Yeah, it took me years to uh, to get where I am today, which identifying and really putting hours and hours and in, 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 in testing things out in my own type of little. Um, indicators to determine where it's going to go with probability. Um, and again, I've, you know, I've gotten fairly decent at, uh, at making it happen. But there's also wealthy buy, you know, that actually does um, pretty well when it comes to trading. So you don't have to pick up this new skill that I begin to acquire over time. Wealthy buy do, does pretty well when the charts, when the market is going up. Even if it's going like sideways, wealthy bot do does pretty well. If you don't know about wealthy bot, we have to have a build on that one where you it allows so automated trading back that is also through secret energy. So we're full of jewels as well as uh, soul coaching, metaphysical knowledge. Oh, hey, all you know is I'm just saying this for people who may tune into this video later on in the future. Um, we have a wealth of things that are right in our front yard, backyard, side yards, and in our hearts that we uh, share with the world um, through Secret Energy. And this is the home that we call. Um, yeah, so yeah, so with the, you can play with the the, the uh, trading view, but just again, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. All right, cool. So if there's any more questions, Sister Abayomi, Sister Onilade, what's good? Hi, um, could I just make a statement about Secret Energy? Yeah, please. So, um, <laughs> so I was in a, um, I'm in another uh, spiritual community, and someone asked about uh, Savan. They was like, "Oh, has anybody ever heard of Savan?" And I, you know, I went on, I went in, you know, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. went in because you know, I'm, I'm normally, I'm like. You know, I I, I kind of if there's nothing to say, you know, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty much you know pretty laid back. But if, if there's something, you know, but I went in. I was like, listen, you know, <laughs> I've been with since the resistance. Word. <laughs> Word. Um, Word. Because you know they they um they were watching some of his videos, and you know how you know you know how Savon gives it up. So oh, yeah. <laughs> so um um I I just wanted to say you know. Like you, 
I have a I have very good things to say about Secret Energy. I've like I've been there, I've been, you know, with with Savon since the beginning, even though like I mean, like I've been, you know, sort of not I wouldn't say I was in and out because it was like every time it it the 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 every solar every um uh spring equinox, it was like somehow I would see like you know, Savan doing a live on the spring equinox and it kind of like get, got me back to, mm -hmm. you know, to center, you know, and I just, you know, I just, the, the community is dope. Everybody, everybody, it seems like everybody that's a part of Secret Energy, uh, the Secret Energy tribe has like this light about them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I can go on Facebook and I look, I look like, you know, people add me or whatever. And then I look at their mutual friends and every picture, I just have to look at the pictures and I'm like, oh yeah, this is secret energy. The, these are secret energy people. Like they have right, a just right. particular light on them where you know that it's secret energy. <laughs> and so I just, you know, and I did invite her to the tribe. She's like, yeah, I'm going to join. You know, I was telling her about the tribe vibes on Fridays and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So yeah, this is, I'm telling, like, this is, I, and you know what I said? I said, he has, because this is the truth, like, yeah. he has the best online spiritual pl platform that I have ever seen. Ever. Ever. So, um, I just wanted to say that, you know, and, and you know, there were other people, because it was a, it's a Discord group, so, you know, there's other people that's about to check him out and stuff like that, so there might be some more people you know joining the tribe or at least signing up for secret energy and getting that that you know high frequency knowledge mm -hmm. that savant gives you know and everybody else you know that's a part of it like there's a um there's actually a and i don't know what kind of dream um dream work they do but there's a group and it's very very like um like you have to sign a non-disclosure in order to join you know what i'm saying yeah. but it but it as secret energy you know anybody could do the dream work as secret energy you know what i'm saying so right, right. i just really i really you know i i love every spiritual community that i'm a part of but i have a very um a very very like high regard for secret energy mm -hmm. thank you for letting me say that <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you for saying it. Yeah, it's I was just talking to the sister uh yesterday. I was talking to the group. I was like, uh making some kind of analogy, but it's like how how air, you know, air is free, it's air is amazing. Give thanks to the mother, you know, and we get this abundance of you know, just pure, un un uh unadulterated, unpaid, yeah. you know. And, yes. and it's like you know, free the tree, trees, plants give it. Do we say thank you to the plants every day? Yeah, nah, we don't. We only that might not be half the time that most people give thanks to nature as much as we should. Mm -hmm. And so it's like giving the flowers while you're here, you know. Right. Uh, it's it's not enough celebration for you know. I, I would say you know I I, I speak for myself. Mm -hmm. I don't think I I, I need a cert. You know I, I want to give as much you no know, praise. To what the the brother Savan has done and all the pillars in the community have done to make this thing uh, shine the way it does, and for mm. his but with like Motel Six, we'll live the light on for you, brother. Been, been, <laughs> been, like been torching up the the cosmos, like hey, we over here, like yo. <laughs> and then you know, I at one time that was the one time we were on tribe buys. That was the first time I ever like spoke to Savon, and there was like this meeting about like it was like he was trying to figure out how what he can do better, and he was asking everybody, and I'm just yeah. like I'm, I was like, what you could do better? <laughs> you the best out here, like <laughs> right? You the you best, Cali, Cali. <laughs> So I'm just like, you know, I, and I'm going to, I'm also, I'm going to, cause I'm starting my journey. Um, you know, I'm starting my journey with, you know, assisting, you know, with people with their spirituality and stuff like that. I'm going to start putting myself out there, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. uh, more right. on social media. And I'm going to, you know, one of the things that I, I'm going to be doing is paying homage to my, you know, my spiritual communities and my, um, and, you know, uh, people that have influenced me. And of course, you know, you and Savon, because uh, Brother Curtis here is my soul coach and he's dope. And I'm definitely going to, you know, let everybody know about the both of you, you know, when I do my my homage series. Give it thanks. So. Give it thanks. Appreciate the love. And it's just, yeah, yeah it's the how we shit. And it's just. It's nature, you know, we want to continue to keep doing, keep shining, you know, because that's, I realize, you know, everybody can't digest, you know, savant, that we could, you know, for whatever reason, like, it, it would just sound like easy, it's like eating watermelon for me, that's like, the you, fruit. like, it's like yeah, just, it, it, don't, it makes sense, what do you mean it just don't make sense to you? No, <laughs> no, 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 I, I tell people, I say, just keep listening, because he <laughs> does, he's, he's so articulate, yeah. That if you have, if he's saying one sentence, there's so much information in that one sentence. So it, it is something that you do have to get used to. But once you get on, because a, a lot of people that I have put on to Savon, you know, they say the same thing. Like, I don't even understand what he's saying. I'm like, keep listening. Just keep, keep listening. listening. Just keep listening. It's going <laughs> to click. Yes, exactly. 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 Yeah, I, I heard people before and it was like, um, Again, just the senior reflection in everybody. And I think about different times where I didn't like some of my best teachers. You know, I mean, I had a geometry teacher who would fuck my, um, I would had an issue with sleeping in class, wasn't a fan, education wasn't no, no early on. So I would like be knocked out mm-hmm. on the coming of class, front seat, knocked out. <laughs> you know? This teacher like jacked me up out of my debt. Like, you gonna sleep in my class? Like you gonna mm-hmm. like embarrass me? Like every time I went to sleep, like you might throw the mark at my head and like wake me up in class. Mm-hmm. But I was the best. I had that was the highest mathematical grade I had in my whole you know tenure right. in school, college and high school and elementary. The best. And I, before I didn't like him because it, it mm-hmm. would seem like he was too tough, he was too hard. But really, I needed that divine masculine uh, pillar in my life for me to see that reflection. And right. That, I had to come to class and listen, like you saying. I just had to stay long enough to find and make make it make sense for me. Right. And, and again, it was, that's what I feel. Again, brother, method messages is potent. It's power. It's no okay. clear corners. It's not flowery. Right. It's right. Boom. This is what it is. You know, with right. all the vernacular and, right. and, all and the, the resources proof, that come with it. Right? Everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You can't exactly. you can't you just can't deny that man? Like he's. Yeah. I don't want to say I don't want to say it like that, but he's that nigga though. He's <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> Long time, like you know, it's OG. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I I kind of interrupted the whole crypto thing, but I just you know I just wanted to share that. Word, a big love for the brothers of mine, the supreme Naga. <laughs> and also, I want to say, if I can chime in, my sister, to come behind you and follow through what you just shout out, you just gave, it's, got, it's a tall order to follow. So I give thanks and give shout out to you for giving all those great accolades for seven, because I'm too also been around since Resistance 2010 as well. And I was just talking with my brother last evening. I said, hey, I sent you a, a, a YouTube on the bill about seven did yesterday. Well, I, I I I I can't follow seven because I I can't talk with him. I I have questions. I said, well, just keep just tuning in, just tune in. And this is my biological brother, right? Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna digress from that. I want to just give you a shout out, Curtis, because you know I'm a trader into the financial markets. But yet, I give thanks that you put this uh, out here for free because I'm I moved to another country. I cut off my income, but because I, I believe in me, I said I got a set of skills that I can do to sustain myself. It's been a peak and valley year for me, but now that was my year of growth yes. in a new country that I don't speak the language, but mm-hmm. I'm learning to hear it. Ah, e e o e o u, and I just <laughs> have them speak a little slower, and I can get it. So, when you though, brother, I give you shout outs though, man, because you have done the work, you've been doing the work, and you are providing the knowledge. 
even with someone that like myself who has gone through school at Traders Club Worldwide and traded in the equity market. But I still come to your arena with you understanding what's in front coming ahead. Because all the world right now is changing. Well, the world is not changing. It's just the individuals are changing the matrix. <laughs> yeah, I said that. They're, they're re-scripting the matrix right there. And so, yes, uh, I'm doing better with the equity markets right now trading. So I look to subscribe to your channel. I mean, with you as well to get better with the technical, get my technology a lot better and profiting more because I want to be double barrel because the dollar's not going anywhere because I follow the Federal Reserve, the creatures from Jekyll Island, as I like to refer to them, the criminals. <laughs> <laughs> when they speak, I tune in because who create who, what, what was they said when they, they took the Federal Reserve came to this in 1913? Give me control over the dollars. I don't give a damn who write the laws. Mm, mm -hmm. And so I learned that this crypto came from the Bank of the National Settlement because, matter of fact, the, the uh, Federal Bank, the, uh, the Bank of Governors out of New York and out of America, they answer to the Bank of the National Settlement. So I know that this crypto was created not by Satoshi, it was by the CIA and the Bank of the National Settlements. Mm. Because as they said, and this is a quote from the number two guy, number one guy at the Bank of our Settlement. When we pay you in a dollar, a hundred dollars, we can't tr really track what you do with it. But when we pay you in crypto, we can now know where it go. I can pay Brother Hugo in crypto, and then we'll know where he got, who got it, and so forth and so forth. Mm -hmm. So this is why I give honor thanks to you, because I know about the pride. We can still remain in existence, because if somebody do, somebody can do other. As my father always taught me that, if man can do, another man can undo. So I'm mm -hmm. forward and I'm going to remain forward. And I give you a big old shout out. And all this, everything that's said about Sevens Well too is heartfelt, truly received. Because that brother been out here for what, over 10, 12 years that I know of. Yeah. Saying, right. hey, look, I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just sharing what I do with, with you. Exactly. exactly. Because all is self. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> give it thanks, give it thanks, big love, big Hold love, me, brother. brother. Hold me. And send a love to you and the fam, brother. Always. Thank you. thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Receive, 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 and again, paying it forward. Thank you for the love, motivation, and again, as you do, new people tuning in. Hey, check out Secret Energy if you haven't already. You will not regret it. All right. So there's not no more questions. Uh, please tune in to next next Wednesday. We have some more build. We'll bring another asset on the forefront. Uh, my brother, I'm your brother Curtis Root, reflection of you. You can find me at www.onetribe.io for one on ones and some crystal jewelry and a number of other things too. You'll find me there. So send a love. Until next time, thank you all for coming out. Sending love to you and best of the best as you travel through the cryptoverse. Oh, what I'd like to say to your brother as well, as a other brother who ruled that you've mentored, there's no little eyes, no big U's here. Uh, no big U's, no little eyes, no bigger U's and little eyes here, right? So holding this brother, you, you rest well. Uh, and much love to everyone else here as well too. I'm sending